titles. He is the reigning UK Open champion and the two-time back-to-back champion of the world. Sometimes at the darts, the Sunday night crowd can be slightly more sedate, slightly more serious. Not sure that quite applies in mine. Had Wes Newton or A.D. Lewis for the first spot in the final. First man to 11, watching on for us, Alan Warren a little. And good evening, Stuart Pike. Hello, Matt. Yes, Wes Newton looking for what would be, in the context, one of the best wins of his career. Wes, who struggled over recent months, has rediscovered the touch here. The perfect time to do it with a World Championship just around the corner. Steady Eddie was a good description. He has got the job done. And here he is in the semi-finals against, well, what a performance we've seen from Adrian Lewis. Tournament average of 101. Magnificent performance to beat Jamie Caver in the quarter-finals. And Lewis, remember, won on the stage in March. He won the UK Open final, beating Terry Jenkins. Thank you, Is he going to win another one on the Minehead stage? First to 11, Lewis against Newton. Big favourite, A.D. Lewis. Okay. Different round. Obviously, Lewis will be the favourite, but whatever does happen here... For Wes Newton, certainly improve his confidence before this tournament started. Getting to the semi final is a big plus. Obviously, wants to win this one and do better. But a good time to get it just before the World Championships as well. But there's this tournament just in front of him. Two more rounds, and he could be the winner. Well, back to back tons for Newton. Six darts without a big treble. That's put it right, hasn't it? Well, Best of 21, these semi-finals, just gone up just a little bit from the last round. First to 11. Well, I'm Newton will well, fancy this, you know. He... he is very good. Pouncing, isn't he? He, he? If he gets, if Newton starts well, as he did against Terry Jenkins, he ran away with it. He won't be under any pressure whatsoever. Well, no, that's a that's a really good point. All the pressure on Adrian Lewis because he's expected to win. Wes could just go up there and have a go and play. How we know he can, but out of absolutely nowhere, a maximum from Lewis to leave a one dart finish. So let's see, Wes. Oh, what a good dart, what a good dart, double 18, double 9, crucial dart in the early stages of this semi-final. Unlucky on the wire, just wouldn't go in. Lewis has missed the tens. So he gets the double 5. Well, a little bit dodgy in the first leg. 180 from Lewis to leave the double 10. Newton having two darts at the double to nick it. Just couldn't hit that door. And here he is again. Wow. It just makes it look so blooming easy. He really does, doesn't he? I mean, it's a joy to watch. Yeah, when he's in that flow. West doesn't want to get too far behind him too early on. It all depends how many 
of those so-called sloppy moments that Lewis may have in the match. Well, Newton already played in two major TV finals, the UK Open 53. and the European Championship, empty-handed on both occasions. Yeah, but we, we, we hark back to March when uh, Adrian won the UK Open on this stage. He was given a real the last 32 against Ronnie Hybrex. He had to win the last four legs, I think, to squeeze through. But after that, he was unbeatable. It was a, a brilliant victory. Two world championships, a European championship and a, a UK Open. Four major titles for Lewis. He will be the first to admit there should have been more. There may be another one to add to the tally tonight. Wow. Good hours. Good Look chances at any with the uh, setups like that. I mean, slightly dodgy in that first leg on the double. Needed trouble to any with the first out. Wow. The second one. Well, recovered well, but he's left Lewis the opportunity with two. Three downs at double 18. Only needed the one, though. Well, he's starting to relax now. The first couple of legs are normally a little bit jittery, as we know. But he'll be relaxing. 2 0 up. Averaging 100. And two maximums to boot. 57. That's what frustrates Lewis. He can be a genius on the dartboard. And then starts the leg with 57, but not too much damage. 47. Wes better get his skates on. Those two darts to win the opening leg against the throw already looking to be important. Well, it's always impeccably important at the start of a match because it relaxes you. You need to get those first, well, certainly the first one on the board. The first couple, make sure you're still in the match. Well, you heard the boys talking about the nine darters just last weekend. Adrian Lewis and Wes Newton in the last Pro Tour event of the year. Newton won 6-5. Oh, that's unlucky. He just put 57 points on the floor. Well, lady Luck not with Wes at the moment. Yeah, Lewis hit a, a nine darter, but Newton won a thriller. And that UK Open in 2013, last 32. Lewis won a thriller 9 8 after Wes had hit a 9 data. So the plan is don't get a 9 because you might lose. I really require 146. He'll stay there. Well, that second treble looked a gimme. You'll be, you'll be a little disappointed with that. The first dart was so good. But in control of this third leg, Adrian. Thirty-nine. Away from the 25. Adrian, missed the target. So a big chance for Lewis for a three-zip lead. Newton non on the finish. 46. Gary Anderson against Vincent van der Voort to come in our second semi-final. Anderson, brilliant winner over Phil Taylor this afternoon. Well, three for double one is the way he likes to go. Well, all of a sudden, an opportunity here. Four missed darts at double. Well, well, I cannot he, believe he's two. gone for that there. I think you required to. Why didn't he go for 15 and ball? He went for two 25s tops. Hit the first 25. So why not go for the 15? At least give yourself a shot at it. Because if he didn't trouble 15, it would have been double 10. And he ended up not having a throw at all. Cost him. May have heard Matt Smith touch on the fact in uh, at the start of the programme. Um, 
Adrian's young son Matthew, who's actually two tomorrow, was rushed into hospital late on Friday night uh, with pneumonia. Uh, thankfully, on the mend. <laughs> Terrific again. You've got to say that's three already for Adrian. Well, seeing his dad play so well on the TV, he'll make the Lal fella feel a lot better. 43. Certainly making Adrian feel a lot better. But you know, he started the leg with a 180, Wes. And Lewis has got six darts from here. Fantastic. Yeah, good set up there. Yeah, started with 180 Newton, still got 171. So he's almost, in a strange way, scoring when it's almost immaterial. For 4 0. Oh, now then, Wes is hoping. 20. Incredible, incredible. Should be 4 0. What a chance for Newton. Yeah, psyching himself up, he knows this is important. Not just to get the leg on the board, but if he's on. Cognitive thought processes for the rest of the match. Lewis will be fuming. Because you just get the feeling that the way the game was going, that two breaks of throw and a 4 0 lead would have been too much for Newton to, to claw back. Oh, he's certainly settled down now, he's got the first leg on the board. Attempt to win this one against the throw. All of a sudden, Lewis in complete and utter command, could have been 4 0 ahead. He'll be going in at the break 3 2. And he's well and truly back in the match. It's how quickly the game can change. Yeah, good top 40 from Lewis. What a performance it was to beat Jamie Caven. He had a match dart at the ball for a 167 finish and then had to watch Lewis take out 124 and 123. Well, whatever happens, Adrian Lewis will stay third in the world rankings. Anderson needs to win it to go above James Wade into fifth. If Newton wins this round, he goes up to ninth or eighth if he's the winner. Vincent van der Voort could be the uh, biggest winner. Moving up the rankings if he gets to the final or wins it. Well, that's just for the seedings for the World Wait, Championships, Stuart. Still a few quid as well. Sixteen. Only require thirty-two. Double sixteen. To go 4 1 up at the first break, and Adrian Lewis at the moment in total control. And Wes Newton has got to up his game. An 85 average will not win this match. Wes with it all to do. Race to 11. For a... 121. You can't get anything consistently going, is, is the key. 95. 95 from Lewis, the reason he went down for the 19s. That's why, because he's left the 170. Well, Wes is going to have to stay on the 20s here. If he'd gone for 19s, it wouldn't have left to finish a single. So Both players left big finishes. It's been a feature of the tournament so far. The finishes we've had, Stuart. This could really ignite Newton into this match, needs another. Oh, just couldn't flick it underneath. It looked a good I marker. Well, this is for a break of throw. That's a good guide for Lewis. Oh, no. Oh, well, that's a great dart. Adrian Lewis missed three darts in the fourth leg to break Wes Newton. Last dart in hand. Has he broken Wes's spirit? We're going to find out in the next five or ten minutes. Another effortless 180 from Adrian, who at the moment is in total control. Good to see from Newton. Great response. Absolutely brilliant from Newton. 
He needs to keep firing in there. No matter what happens with the result. I'm not happy with that one after the first maximum from him in this second session. That's 22 180s from Lewis so far this weekend. And you get the feeling now that, that you know, apart from the fact Wes needs to, to find another gear, he's, he's also relying on Adrian to dip. Needs tops. Double ten. Well, he's on a couple of legs, Adrian, where he's messed about a little bit on the double. He's got away with a couple, but he can't keep doing it. Well, no, you're right, but his dominance exemplified by the fact that Wes has had three darts at doubles in this match. Lewis has had 17. He's had 18. We'll go for double one again. Well, he's five out of 19 on the doubles for Adrian. He's on double one again. He's on double one in the previous leg. Early in the match. Top of the shot for Madhouse. We've all been there. Game well, gets it eventually. Good marker. Well, is there any way back for Wesley Newton? Well, I've been just checking with uh, our referee Russ Bray on something that's happened on the side of the uh, side of the stage. Now uh, Russ Bray, our MC, got the voice of a Dalek chewing gravel. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, eighth leg, Wes to throw first. Well, they're happy Eight enough. On. Russ is happy enough, and on we go. Well, that's good composure from Newton there. A little bit of a stop in play because of a problem to the left of the Eight stage. Seven. We'll find out shortly what that was. And Newton straight back in with a maximum. Apparently, Adrian Lewis thinks there's a little bit of a draft coming from the left of the stage. We've, we've been there, done that, haven't we, with Adrian Lewis? You remember? Draft gate? At the World Championship in his match with it was James Wade, wasn't it? I've never seen so something players so happy daft. enough. <laughs> I've never seen anything so daft in my life. Get on with it. Absolutely. If it's blowing them in, fine. If it's blowing them out, try something else. One hundred and forty. Which require one hundred and sixty-four. the nineteen route. Needed two trebles. Got the first one. Trouble sixteen. Treble 20, where's he going? Treble 1, treble 1. And look at the big score from Lewis here, puts the pressure on. A treble needed. No pressure. Just needs to tidy this one. Does Wesley. Double 5. 80. Just under. Well, we've seen this hit a few times in the tournament so far, the 136, but not this time. So Wesley Newton will be returning to the board. Important when he gets the chances to get on top of them. Now, we've already seen a couple of legs one on double one. We've seen another leg one on double one. Oh, the second one that Newton's won. But an important one for him. Yeah, strange with that, isn't it? Eight legs and three wow. of them on double one. Not often you see that in a TV semi-final. Like watching you. Maybe more than three. Wow. Good last start from Newton. But still just averaging 85. Anderson against Van der Voort to come. Even Santa's enjoying the proceedings before he gets busy at the end of the month. 
Well, Wes has struggled for form in the last four or five months. But he's worked hard, he's grinding himself back into some sort of form. He's changed his darts, changed his flight. Doing all he can to rediscover the winning touch. 55. A strange way to go off 105. And a lot of players are doing that. Tops. 65. Well, if he was going for the ball in 25, surely he must know in his head what he wants when he hits it. Strange but true. Well, he's going to have to hit tops. That's three in three legs. And in the end, it matters not as Adrian Lewis takes another big step towards another final on this Minehead stage. Is Lewis going to win back to back? TV majors here in Minehead in the space of six months. Well, three maximums for Newton in the last three legs, but it's been the bit to either side really that's been the problem. Well, at the moment, it's all too easy for Lewis. Well, you can sometimes understand, Stuart. When players start changing flights and stems and doing all sorts of things, but the bottom line is it's all down to confidence and getting a few wins under your belt. Sometimes you're actually changing the flights and stems to try and just change something in the armory to give you a spark back. So you can't be such a good player all of a sudden and then stop. It's all down to do the mind games, the confidence. It happens to so many players, including myself at one point. We know Newton's a good player, full stop. They don't reach two major finals, appear in two Premier Leagues. If you've got a talented lad and he's now outscoring Adrian Lewis on the maximums, five to four. Couple 20 here, would have left him a finish. So Newton to get one back. But again, Adrian Lewis, one, two, one, going for the ball first. Good wait for Newton. Uh, Lewis going for the ball again. If you go for the 20 and 17, you've got two darts at a treble to give you a shot. Well, total control for Adrian Lewis. Oh, that's a good dart. It is total control now. It's really difficult. A rueful shake of the head for Newton to see Wes getting back in this one. At the moment, all too easy for Adrian Lewis. He's three legs away from the final. He leads West Newton 8-2 on finals night here in Minehead. Lewis 5-4, but been nowhere near as consistent, not consistent enough for this stage of a big TV event. Well, he's missed a couple of chances here and there, but generally been his scoring on the consistent basis which is normally a good part of his armory 16. But when you get 8-2 down it's you're in that difficult position where you almost know you're going to lose obviously but you just don't want to make it look like you've been hammered Good darts. Well, both players really failing to fire after the break. But just three more legs needed. And then the second semi final will feature Gary Anderson. Terrific performance. 10 6 to beat Phil Taylor in the quarterfinals this afternoon. Would you believe the first time that Anderson has beaten Taylor? in a TV major ranking event for seven years. What a way to do it. Yeah. Can Anderson go on to win it? Or will he, his name be added to the list of players who beat Taylor and then don't go on? We'll have to beat Vincent van der Voort first. 
Yeah, he's in pretty good form. He'll fancy his chances and maybe not feel the pressure as much as Gary with the expectations. A chance to break here. Good dance, and Wes Newton does break. Yeah, well done. The setup shot was terrific from Wesley. Gave him the chance. Two darts, 76 kill, and perhaps some renewed confidence and belief. 97. Yeah, just got to fight away here. There's obviously the want of a better word and a bit, bit of a predicament. Yeah, but Lewis will, will have to be aware that he can't afford to take his eye off the ball either. No, he's, he's, he's close to the finishing line. And he will know that he should win from here. 86. But he's still got to close it out. He's still got three legs to win. Well, it's not as if he's on the last leg, is it? He's won three legs. They've got a lot to do. Well, second time we've seen... Where's Newton's dart fall out of the trouble 19? The flight, wasn't it? Well, there were two great darts from Lewis. We should stay on the 19s with these last two. 19, Lewis 170. Trouble would have left a better finish, but 170 it is. He's probably going to have to get it. Wow. Lewis went for the 25, but hit the ball. Legs 11 for Lewis. The big 170 for Newton. Not this time. 96. Three for double four for Lewis. No, so a chance again for Wes. Took out 76 in two darts to get one leg back. 74 is the equation here. Tops to get another one back. Nice one, Wesley. And apart from the obvious winning the two legs, it's the two clean kills that put him in good stead for the rest of this semi-final. Now two, two darts missed from Adrian to go 9-3 up at double four. One on one. A good last dart again. Just about hanging on in there, Wesley, at the moment. 96. Well, he's gritting his teeth and getting stuck in there, which is always good to see. That's a good marker. Plenty of room in the bed. One on right on He'll take the 140 though. He's starting to give himself more chances now, Stuart. Than as before, he just wasn't getting many. One on and Lewis has just gone off the boil a touch, hasn't he? Where's will sense? One on Just a little chance, a little opening. We did say earlier, at some point, Adrian, for some reason, does have a couple of sloppy moments. It all depends in the context of this semi-final, how long that lasts, and how much inspiration it gives Wesley Newton. Oh, he's got the ball. In his sights! I'm looking for the 161. Lewis has got a tall order here. What a so, chance. Well, yeah. 8-2 down. Lewis wow, missing darts to go 9-3, and here, Wes could win a third consecutive leg. And it isn't over. It isn't over. Well done, Wes Newton. Adrian Lewis has just switched off a little. And Wes Newton will have a little spring in his step now. Well, apart from the ball, he's hit the double with the first dart as well. What that does is, the next time you need to hit a double, you're throwing it in instead of hoping it's going to go in. Well, normal service may just have been resumed. Is that the sloppy moment over? It lasted for three legs. 
Well, it's interesting, of course, the news made official this weekend that Adrian Lewis has once again engaged the services of former world champion Keith Deller to be in his corner. And it's one of the elements of Lewis's game that Deller is desperate to iron out. Just these little patches, two or three wow. legs, five or ten minutes, where he just switches off. Yeah, it's hard to call it, really, because... It's almost been there since Adrian got himself into the top of the rankings. He kind of get away with it sometimes wow. when they're set. Because you can have a one-two sloppy legs in a set and still win it. But when it's legs, every leg counts. Oh, tops for a one-two-five. Ah, that's back in business, all right. A 12 darter started the leg with a maximum and finished it with a one-two-five checkout. And with that leg... Has he extinguished Wes Newton's hopes? 26. And starts the leg with 26. Raise of the eyebrow from the jackpot. 12 dart leg and then three darts that anybody could have thrown, including you, Stuart. 59. 26 is good for me, Alan, believe me. I'm just dropping short of the treble bed again. Better. Whatever happens, though, encouraging for Newton going forward this weekend has to be. Well, he would have chewed your arm off if you were told in the semi final at the start. He really would. This is six maximum. Pretty good on the maximum scoring. Well, here, since the break when he was trailing 8-2 wow. Wes is it back to back 180s here looks like he's going to win this session 4-1 but in this session One on. there will be three consecutive breaks of the Lewis throw for an 11 data 12 will do Wes 50. that's what I like to see not just the fact he's missed that Lewis isn't on a finish and he really was desperately wanting to finish 18. that leg to continue the momentum he's had earlier apart from that 12 data from Lewis so good to see the fighting spirit from the it's warrior eventually gets to double 16 gets the leg back and breaks another throw of the Adrian Lewis armory well a fight back from Newton he was quite a bit behind but he goes into another break. Only trailing Adrian Lewis. And now next to six. Come back after the break. More to come, but an intriguing first semi final. It looked to be all over. Bar the shouting when Lewis led 8 2. But fair play to Wes Newton. He has battled his way back. The man they call the warrior. And he's won four out of five legs and he's throwing here 35. well that's unlucky to reduce the deficit to two Newton in that last little session broke the Lewis throw three times and average 99 yeah certainly was Lewis starts this session with a maximum trying to re-establish that a four leg lead and that is Maximum number 200 of the weekend. Astonishing standard. 16. Yeah, it's been pretty good. One of the features, big finishes. Those averages in the first round were absolutely outstanding. Well, how about here this? goes Lewis. Here oh. goes Lewis. Well, he lost the last session 4 1. Goes through a break. All of a sudden, he's on a ninth data. What's going on? Robert Thornton and Phil Taylor have missed double 12 this weekend. Adrian Lewis needs treble 19. Oh, well, Gary Anderson hit seven perfect darts against Phil Taylor. Again, we held our collective breaths. We were getting ready. Appreciative from the crowd. Now the most important thing is winning the leg. We'll put him one leg away. 
Well, he's missed it. They'd be disappointed with that for the momentum purpose. But Newton back on 2 6 2. Yeah, well, you're right, Alan. 9 out of 31. Adrian Lewis's check out stats. 74. Well, how many times has that happened? Well, Lady Luck not smiling on Wes Newton. I don't even think it's Lady Luck. That doubt was right in the middle of the treble. The other one was nowhere near it, really. And it fell out smart for Wes. He knew it was, knew it was a tall order to win the leg anyway. Just disappointed it fell out. That puts Lewis one leg away from the Cash wow. Converters Players' Championship final. I'll have to switch. Oh, it's just the beginning of the end. He gave himself too much to do, didn't he? Wes Newton. Yeah, it was good to see the fight back, like you say. 8-2 down against anybody is a tall order. 8-2 down against a player of Adrian Lewis's prime quality. Extremely difficult. Because you know at some point they're going to get their, their focus back. Everybody's in. And a horse. Wow. And another 1-8-2. 8 for Lewis. 15 in the game. And the last knockings of this semi-final. Well, I suppose you have to say, Stuart, he has been, despite a lot of things happening during the game, really been in complete control 15. from early knockings. But Wes can be encouraged by what's happened this weekend. 85. He'll take a lot more confidence into the World Championship, that's for sure. 11. And tops for Adrian Lewis to book his place in the final of the Players' Championship. 95 average, but in the end, it was a comfortable win for Lewis. 11-6, and Lewis will be back as he looks for back-to-back -back major titles on this Minehead stage.